hey hi hello welcome or welcome back Ooh, i gotta make sure that i don't show this hand because i haven't put all of my press on nails on this one but anyways hey hi hello welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is gabby and i make videos about college scholarships and keeping it real and today we're going to be keeping it really 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 real i'm talking about a few activities that you can do right now during quarantine for low cost if any cost at all to really spice up your applications and this doesn't matter if it's a scholarship application a college application or a job application these are all things that are going to look amazing on your resume and reflect really well on you as an applicant so this applies across the board for various opportunities first and foremost if you're not subscribed to this channel what are you doing i put you on free game financially in terms of opportunities and we also have some fun stuff coming up on this channel Ugh. Can I English? I also have some fun stuff coming up on this channel. You want to be tuned in for that. So be sure to turn on the notification bell as well as follow me on my other platforms, which I'm a little bit more active on. You can find both my business Instagram, which I talk about more educational opportunities on, as well as my personal Instagram, where I just get fly and post pics. And my TikTok, which I stay the most up to date with and post opportunities virtually every single day on so be sure to connect with me there but without further ado let's jump right on into this video and now just because i'm giving you guys these opportunities does not mean that each and every one is going to be for you think about what you like what fits your personality and what wouldn't feel like a burden for you take each of the opportunities with a grain of salt so you can actually discern which opportunities would not only look good for you and align with the other activities that you have on your resume but also it would just be fun. You don't want to be doing something that you don't care about. The first thing that you can do to spice up your applications is start a book club. Yes, a lot of activities for high school, for college, and everything in between have been stopped. Social interaction, as we know it, has been dramatically changed. But that does not mean that you cannot also foster community and be a leader in that regard. And by starting a book, a book club, this is incredibly low cost. All you have to do is pay for the book. If you download the ebook for free online using some of the websites that I've noted in one of these TikToks on my page for free, you have nothing to worry about. Book clubs, depending on the size and what you discuss throughout your meetings can be really low cost, low energy, but super fulfilling. I recommend that you start with a book that you are actually interested in and you have in mind what the goal for your reading club is. Is it just to be in community with other people who perhaps look like you? Is it to meet people from all over? Do you want to open it to people across social media? Do you want to have a certain age group, a certain demographic? Think about why you're reading what you're reading and why you're reading it with the people that you're reading it with. And that will help you really niche down your club so that you only attract members who are genuinely interested in reading and building community together. Say you're really interested in mental health like I am. I've started my own nonprofit club on campus. So say I wanted to do an extension of that with a book club. Each month or every six weeks, whatever the case may be, I'll choose a different book written by a therapist so that we can heal together in community. Boom, beautiful chef's kiss. That shows to your employers or the donors, whoever's reading your application, that not only do you care about what you're reading about, but you also care enough to be doing this in tandem with other people, which always looks good. The second thing you could do is volunteer with a nonprofit. So many organizations are burned out right now. They're really having a hard time adjusting to this quasi reality that we live in. And a lot of them don't know how to market themselves on social media. They don't know how to market themselves online. They don't know how to even send out Google Calendar events or how to transition all of the events and the activities that they had going on into this online world. And you could really help with that. You could just pitch yourself to local nonprofits in your area that you genuinely care about and be like, hey, I'm a student here or I'm really interested in your organization because let me know if you could ev you ever need any help. I would love to volunteer for your organization. Boom. And nine times out of 10, nonprofits, because they have a different framework than for-profit organizations, they're always gonna be open to having helping hands on board. You can then talk about all of the activities that you do on your resume, as well as have a known and established nonprofit to go along with it. So, beautiful. The third thing you could do is start a Discord community. A lot of people have asked me if I have a Discord and they wanted me to start one. Personally, it's not my thing. It's just a little too overwhelming for me and I don't want to be on too many different platforms at once, but 
if this is up your alley and you generally have something to talk about by all means do it i'm in quite a few discord groups about stocks or education they're really a great way to get to know people intimately because it's basically a more in-depth version of group me that's how i conceptualize discord because you can have voice conversations with people you can have different channels within your discord group that are dedicated to different things and that's a great way to not only provide resources but also to connect people from around the world with each other based on this common theme that undergirds the reason why you started your Discord community. And that's something that you can put on your resume and you could definitely quantify it by saying, oh, I have X amount of members in my club. This is what we talk about on a daily basis. Our community has these values. It's definitely a great starting point, I feel like, for the different colleges and scholarships. So think about what's really important to you or what you would be interested in talking about on a day-to-day -day basis and you could start a Discord community based on that. The fourth and final thing you could do for relatively no cost is start a blog. Not my nail coming off. Y'all, oop, not my phone falling. Y'all please run these views up so I can actually get my nails done because it's tough out here. But starting a blog, it doesn't have to cost anything if you don't want it to. You could build your website yourself and there's so many free websites such as Squarespace, Wix, a whole bunch of other websites that will let you use already established templates to build whatever website that you want to do and a lot of people do have blogs so they have specific templates that are catered towards people who want to be bloggers too but similarly to the other activities this is not only a great way for you to stand out in your applications but it's also a great way for you to set aside time to reflect on what's important to you whether you're talking about your daily experiences as a student during COVID or maybe you're talking about you're doing food reviews because you really love food or maybe you're talking about different makeup trends or perhaps you're doing cultural critiques or talking about your favorite music or reviewing albums when they drop whatever there are so many amazing things that you can do and they're definitely not limited to the things that I just thought of off of the top of my head so think about what you like to read what you like to listen to podcasts different things like that and you could create a blog centered around that and you never know where it could take you you could end up being a full-time blogger which is a really lucrative job actually you can get a lot of money from ad revenue you can get a lot of money from endorsements and people who want you to try out their products or review their business nonprofit page whatever depending on your niche and I feel like you should definitely do it it's super fun and it's also something tangible that you can link in your applications to let them know hey if you ever want to check out what I'm talking about not only am I telling you I have this blog but I can show you that I have this blog by pulling up the website so I feel like that's also a really cool thing that y'all should try out just to reiterate the four really easy activities that you can do right now from your house to beef up your applications whether it's for college scholarships or anything in between are starting a book club starting a blog, volunteering for a nonprofit, and I forgot the other one. The other one is escaping my mind right now, so we're just gonna put it on the screen somewhere. Let me know which one of these was your favorite. Let me know if any of the activities that I talked about sparked any other ideas that you wanna try out. Comment down below if you need any help, any guidance, or you would love some input on your ideas. I'm always here to help, as well as other people in the comment section too. I would love to hear some feedback and if you want part two of these ideas, I can definitely do that because they are just rolling off of the top of my head. So thank you for tuning in to today's video. As always, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and keep me updated on your journeys. Thank you so much for tuning into our video today, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Mm -hmm. Y'all, let's get into these lashes, all right? I'm kind of feeling the ponytail. I never do a ponytail with my faux locks, but I'm thinking it's the way. Okay, let me stop talking to this camera. <laughs>